everyone, my name is Julia and I am the engagement officer for the Dynamic Geoscapes project here at Sutherland Bay. Right now where I am sitting is known as the Dune Heath Habitat. The Dune Heath Habitat is just after the semi-fixed dunes and just before the Dune Woodland. It is a habitat that is mainly comprised of heather, mosses and lichen. The ground here has been enriched with more nutrients, it has increased in water retention and it's also declined in pH. And what this has meant is that now the heather and other dune heath plants have outcompeted the marram grass and they have started to dominate over this area. There are tons of really, really important species that live here. One of them is the sand lizard. The sand lizard relies on this very mosaic landscape to be able to survive. It needs the heather to be able to hide from predators and shelter from extreme weather conditions, but it also needs bare sand to be able to bask in, to warm it up and get it active in the morning, and also to be able to make holes in the sand bake tunnels and bury its eggs inside of the sand and to also hibernate during the winter months. The threats to this dune heath environment are mainly over vegetation. It is the growth of invasive gorse and pine trees that have started to cover up this mosaic landscape. Invasive species are another big problem too. Heath star moss is one. Heath star moss was introduced to England in the 1940s and it is a pioneer species that grows on these bare sandy habitats. It outcompetes, it grows over really important other moss species and essentially reduces this habitat that the wildlife relies on for those bare open sandy spaces. Under the Dynamic Geoscapes project, we're working to remove heath style moss, to remove the invasive gorse and pine trees, and to recreate this mosaic landscape again.